We've been sitting on some boxes. We, we have. It's been a little while since we've yeah. done an unboxing. We received boxes over the summer. Yes. And then Halloween happened. Yes. And we had so much Halloween content. It was kind of insane. Sometimes I don't just get sent boxes. Sometimes I also get sent like other little weird things. This is from a uh, fan, Lauren Janke, and she invited us to her graduation party this past May. Oh, how lovely. We missed it. <laughs> yeah, we missed it, obviously. <laughs> so we could have went out to Milwaukee. We, we were welcome. There was a celebration. It's the Seth Peterson Cottage at Lake Delton. Oh, that's designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. That's a, a, a fairly famous architectural building. And look at the awesome card with the... the... The paint is actually super cool. I love the palette. And then there was an after party. We also missed. <laughs> Halliday's Irish Pub. So I hope they had a great time. Pizza and refreshments. I don't know why we didn't go. I don't know why either. I mean, come Free. on. And then also we got in the mail a thank you card from Fish Ski Provisions. Did we really? I'm a little surprised. We weren't a huge fan of the Mac, were we? Not really. Good cheese flavor, but there's not a lot of creaminess. I like the chilies. It just Jones. came out a little dry. Junt and Frankie, thanks for the support slash having us on. Keep up the great work, all the best. I think that if, if I had made it again, I would know that it was going to come out a little dry. I would be able to compensate. There's a funny commercial they have on YouTube for their product. That, yeah? That is like where they sing a whole song about the mac and cheese. Really? That's kind of yeah. fun. Mac and cheese with cheddar that's real. Mac and cheese. A gourmet meal. Eat for an adventure. Mac and cheese. Chilies, peppers, less to prep, and lets you eat for an adventure. The flavor that pops. The mac so good you can't stop. Well, so we are cooking a mac. Yeah. Today we're going to go with white cheddar and bacon. And I can already tell you the bacon is not going to be big pieces. So we got a lethal one. Oh, we got boxes. From longtime fan Ryan Bailey. Did we even mentioned that we're in a new studio. No. I don't think we've discussed. I, I've actually, I've, I've, been, I've been keeping it quiet know. because it's I, just out of comedy's sake. Because I think it's kind of funny that just suddenly we're in a new studio. <laughs> if you actually follow the progression of content. You can see like the old studio, we had packed things up already. Yes, mostly box demic stuff. You yeah. can actually like infer the whole story and you just don't get any information about the <laughs> underlying elements. Well, I think we owe it to them to tell them that we, yeah. we were kicked out of the other one. That's right. The landlord's daughter is a baker and she wants to expand her bakery. Yeah, she's the one who made our cake. So Ryan Bailey sent us one Mac and check this out. Wow, look, it's got like real foam, like upholstery foam. Oh my God, we've been talking about this Mac forever. Whoa. This is the Larry the Cable Guy Mac. Larry the Cable Guy Mac. There is more letter here than there is box. All right. Dear Box Mac crew, including but not limited to, Junt, Frankie, Nina, EJ, Zach, Baby Glow, Man Server, Matt, Angry Kirby, Aaron, TV's Gary, and anyone else who stopped by. Oh, well, they can actually get everyone if they really want to. They can go to IMDB now. Where yes. you can see everybody who's ever been on Box Mac, even Frankie for a did second. like a very impressive like uh, data like, entry project. Yeah, data entry project. <laughs> I'm sending you my most glorious Mac find, included as a box of the Larry the Cable Guy Deluxe Mac and Cheese, which is purchased at my local IGA for a dollar. Mm -hmm. For a dollar. A dollar. These can also be found at dollar stores and big lots, along with numerous other Larry branded products. I didn't realize he had a whole food line. I, I don't think we would get away with it in Massachusetts. We wouldn't get away with it. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Because, like, I think they resent him politically. Yes. The Amazon reviews are great as well as this YouTube review. And he actually wrote out a YouTube um, URL. A YouTube.be address. I'll cut in whatever it is he's talking about. Larry the Cable Guy's mac and cheese. Smoky bacon flavor. Hopefully, before I die of massive internal injuries, I can get this video out to you. It, it tastes like... It tastes like mac and cheese baked with Slim Jims. It's actually not bad. I've also included a picture my daughter drew, so hopefully you won't hate me for subjecting you to this. Keep up the great work. Sincerely, Ryan from Ohio. Ryan from Ohio, not Chuck. It's some of our most flattering depictions. I mean, other than sexy anime, John, this is about it. This is about as good as it gets. I love cheese. Yum. I think those are both accurate statements. Actually, not a bad logo, I no, think. No, not at all. You would not mistake who these guys are. No, no, I think I think it's very clear. <laughs> I know who they are. And of course, a bowl of mac and cheese. Always difficult to draw mounds of things. It is. I think macaroni and cheese is actually one of the hardest things to draw. <laughs> we should get like like the finest artists. <laughs> you have like Chrissy versus Mel twenty Mel. of the finest artists in the world yeah. animating macaroni and cheese. I actually like this. I love it. I think it's. This great. will show up in the fan art section. A lot of people don't know we have a fan art section on the website. I didn't actually know that myself. You can go to redcountertainment.com media images fan art. I did go on there just the other day to get the recipe for the uh, the pumpkin ravioli. It also functions as internal documentation. It does. It, it's got so many great purposes. That box looks heavy, Frankie. Does it have just a cinder block inside? Yeah, this is from Ashley. This is from Ashley's from mom. It costs $18.90 to ship. Oh, she sent this before we did Box Demic. She's been 
worried about this box for a while. When we shot in the studio, she probably even came into contact with this box and didn't know it. Yeah, I think she might have moved it. Apparently there's shelf-stable cheese and meats in here. I mean, they've been here for two months. I've had shelf-stable cheese before, and let me tell you, I'm not a huge fan. Maybe this will be different. I mean, we got it. If, they, if, if Ashley sent it all the way from Austin, Texas, then it must. Yeah. And she, she won't let you forget, Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. I, I was from Massachusetts. I live, live in Austin, in Texas Austin, Texas, now. Texas. She never has, I don't know if she's even been to Ohio. <laughs> Ooh, the tape is tough. Holy crap. You gotta protect your meats. Oh my God. Holy cow. Wow, this is a serious box. Read me. And uh, on the back here, you got your feathers. I mean, your typical feathers for box, Mac. Greetings from Ohio, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's actually a city in Texas called Ohio. I think we might have even said this last time she sent something in, but really awesome uh, hand printing. This is very nice handwriting for the end. Hello friends, I love and miss and hope you're well. But of course, she got to see us, right? After she did. This. Yeah. The timelines. <laughs> the timeline is completely, it's all X-Men. It's all for sure. In this box, please find two actual box Max and one special underline sort of Mac that is in a box. I hope you have fun with it. Also enclose your stickers for my improv troupe and some blue bonnet seeds for Junt, uh, which is the Texas state flower. She doesn't do anything half-assed, does she? No, she does not. There's a couple Macs on the side. I, they feel like almost an afterthought. She decorated her own shoebox. This is beautiful. This is a ChelseaCrew.com shoebox. I don't know the company. <laughs> Box Mac Mystery Box, Ellipses <laughs> Mac. It's a box Mac because it's in a box, right? Right. <laughs> this is very cute. Look at more. Oh my gosh. Frankie plus Junt. Your challenge, create a drool-worthy Mac using the ingredients in this box. Will it be a Cracker Barrel success or an evil nightmare? It's up to you. This is very like a... <laughs> 90s cereal box. Oh my god, this is great. Do you take the challenge? Ultimate challenge. Use only the ingredients contained here. Super challenge. Use all the ingredients here. Regular challenge. Use most of them. Good luck. P.S. Feel free to send me a mystery box too. As if we haven't collaborated enough, Ashley. As if I haven't edited your last pumpkin beer thing. What do we got here? Beer peanuts. How am I gonna use those in a Mac, actually? Yeah, beer peanuts. Beer nuts. Oh, some well, cow cheese. It's 55% off. It's a little past its date. It's some of them really special noodles. Oh, I love those noodles. That looks great. A smoked roasted garlic naturally smoked cheese. This is a long-term shelf-stable cheese. Blue agave sriracha. Why does it have blue agave in it? Blue agave. Do you like sriracha? Is yeah, yeah, thing? sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wait, I'll just... Yeah, it's just a little hot sauce, right? I mean, whatever. Luxury clotted cream. I've heard the term clotted cream, but I don't know what it actually is. Wow, education. A blend of diced portobello er vegetables and herbs. Vegetables. A small circle of tomato and basil cheese. It's not a circle. How would you make a mac out of all this? We can do it. A Romana salami. Uh, which must be what she's worried about the most. Best Buy 819. So we're a little past. It's a while ago. We might not be able to meet the challenge. We could try. Meet the challenge. This is gonna be uh, really fun, but we're gonna have to do it very soon. And then she's got these stickers for her comedy troupe called The Matriarchy. Is that the joke that I'm like a raging feminist? <laughs> oh, these are the blue bonnets. Let love bloom, Corey and Ashley 7117. This is from their wedding. Aww. I think she needed to get rid of some. <laughs> I'm gonna try to grow it. I'll grow it in the uh, Will you really? Or... Yeah, sure. Jesus, the blue bonnets just, they, they leak. But they're nice. You ever see a blue bonnet? No, I haven't. And then we got two box Macs. They're both crafts and they're both awful. Oh, these how are, terrible. These are, the, <laughs> these are the cauliflower types. One is white cheddar, one's original. We'll put them in the Hall of Macs and then once they get the year old, I'll throw them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be like, should we do the cauliflower ones? Uh, and it will be early in the morning. John will be hungry. He'll be like, is there any way we could do like a deluxe no, maybe? The only way that, that'll come into a show is if Nina sees them and Nina comes up with a good idea for a show yeah. and we get like six awful Macs. This is going to be a little interesting though. I was thinking through the logistics of it. I don't know if I can do it without milk. It says use only the ingredients contained That's here. the ultimate challenge. Okay. If you use all the ingredients here plus others, you, you have accomplished the super challenge. Yeah. yeah. Maybe the super challenge. <laughs> That's what we do here on Box Mac at Red Country. We, we don't really go over the <laughs> top. We still try to give you something. Maybe not exactly what you want. Maybe not Box Mac every week. And our lightest Box Mac year. Yeah. They still got like 22 episodes. Holy cow, I didn't think it was that it's many. still a lot. All right, we're ready to try some Mac? Oh, hell yeah. This is the best part of unboxing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a try. All right, white cheddar and bacon, craft deluxe. Ooh, it's good. But the, I don't like the bacon texture that much, nope. but I like the flavor. The cheese is good. I think they've kind of used salt as a replacement for some of the more detailed flavors, but it is quite tasty. Hey, somebody had a question in the comments. Why does John need so much salt, but thinks everything is over-sugared? This is a fascinating question. Yeah. That I cannot give you the answer to. <laughs> Mysteries. Salt really 
kind of enhances flavor. And too much sugar just tastes like too sweet. Well, this was a great unboxing. Yeah. You got your Larry the Cable Guy, you got your Ashley Mystery Box, you got your invitations to graduation parties, and you got a delicious Mac. I mean, I see at least 300 other boxes over there. So uh, whether or not you like unboxing, we're coming back. We're coming back. We'll see you again next time on Unboxing. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, but uh, it's not the worst thing that could happen to you. So Larry the Cable Guy's Mac and Cheese with Smoky Bacon Flavor, I approve.